Hey guys, so today I'm going to be making a basketball shirt. My little boy just recently started basketball and of course I want to make myself one of those really cheesy basketball shirts, uh, basketball mom shirts. So um, I'm going to go ahead and make that today. I just got me some orange vinyl in um, from Amazon so thought I would go ahead and do that. So I went ahead and downloaded this basketball heart image from Google. And what I'm gonna do is go ahead and upload it into Des Design Space. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit complex. The first thing I'm gonna do is remove my background. And then because this is going to be needed in two different parts because I'm doing two different colors, I'm going to have to get rid of my orange layer here and I would go ahead and save this which I've already done so I'm not going to do it again but you would see it would save just the um, black part for my cut. Now I'm just going to go back to show you what I would do for the orange part. I would save the black and then I would go back and re-upload the heart completely over again and then I would get rid of the black. The background, the black, and you can see it has this outline around there so I'm just going to take my eraser tool and get in there and get that outline. Okay, and then I'm gonna save that. So then I'm gonna have both my orange pieces and my black pieces when I go to design this in Design Space. Okay, so here we are where we're going to upload our pieces. So I'm gonna pick to upload my orange part and my black part. I'm gonna bring that in to Design Space. And as you can see, um, I have both pieces. So I'll be able to cut this in the orange and I'll be able to cut this in the black. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and delete that off of there because I already have my project saved. It's right here. So I don't know yet my little boy's number or if he's even gonna have one. Um, so what I've decided to do was just go ahead and make this that says basketball mom with the heart on the front of my shirt. And then if he does end up getting a number or anything like that, I'll put that on the back of the shirt. Okay, so um, I have my image um, to the size that I want it. Um, the orange and the black are in separate pieces. So when I go to make it, um, you see I have my black on this mat and my orange pieces on that mat. And that is because I did not attach this or anything. So Cricut is just going to separate this by color. Now what I could do is if I want to be certain that um, my basketball stays in proportion to my black heart, I could take this orange off. I probably wouldn't actually even have to move it, but I'm going to just for the purpose of this video. I'm going to select these two and attach and then go to make it. And then it's going to stay in position, which is what I think I'm going to do because it's really not gonna um, use all that much more vinyl and that'll just make it easier. Okay, so here is my mat. This is a really old mat that I've just restuck and restuck by washing it and re-gluing it if need be. Um, Usually just washing them with like baby wipes does the trick for me. So this vinyl from Amazon is not the best quality. What I actually do is 
um, get my weeder and poke a little hole to make sure I have the right side. The um, shiny side or smooth side goes down. And that is the side of the carrier sheet. So let me just get that on there in position. Right. So here is my design, and I'm just going to make sure to mirror it. I'm going to go ahead and select mirror the other one, even though that one's not a big deal, but the one with the text is. And I'll be back. Okay, so my black is finished cutting. I'm going to cut off, and now I'm going to put my orange on. This is my shiny side. I'm going to put that down. And I'm still, because I've had trouble with this in the past, I'm just going to... Poke my vinyl and make sure that I'm cutting on the right side. Go ahead and stick that in my machine. And let it cut out the orange. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start the weeding of the black. And I'm not going to try to save any of this black because, uh, like I said, I already ruined some of it. So this whole piece of black is pretty much done for. <laughs> I'm actually just hoping my image cut without getting messed up. All right, so my orange is back, uh, uh, is finished. So once um, I have it all weeded, I will be back. Okay, so my black is all weeded. And now I'm going to start on my orange. Right. So this is my scrap, which I'm, I have a feeling I'm going to make more uh, basketball shirts, so I should probably order a whole roll of orange. And there is my basketball heart. Now we're gonna go to the steam press and um, put this on the shirt. If you can still hear me, I had to take my mic out in order to do this. But um, some of the vinyl that I, I have ordered came with this free Teflon sheet. So that's what I'm using to put over my image. I'm gonna put this down for just about 10 seconds. Not even really. And then I'm going to do the second part of the heart here. One thing you have to keep in mind with HTV and when you're layering is that HTV will shrink. Um, so I don't want this, this layer to shrink and then it won't match up with my second layer. Um, but because this vinyl is cold peel, um, I'm going to have to wait until it cools down in order to put on my second layer. All right. Now I think I got it. If you're having an issue with your, um, HTV sticking, it is going to need another press. I was trying to be very careful with this one because like I said, I'm layering it. So I don't want my first HTV to shrink. So what I've done here is go ahead and stick my basketball on there and I'm gonna press that now. All right. So I'm gonna get this. And um, my black is already down so I just need to make sure my orange is lined up where it should be. Make sure my um, basketball that I've already taken the cover sheet off of is protected by the Teflon sheet. Okay. 
that's a 10 second hold. Um, I'm gonna go additional five seconds just from what I've seen of this cold pill vinyl. It seems to take a little bit longer. Then what I'm gonna do is once I take the carrier sheet off, I am going to give the whole thing another press. Okay, so now I'm just gonna peel up my orange layer. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. strap out of the way. Okay, I'm going to give my shirt one more press. All right, guys. Well, here we go. My completed basketball shirt. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe if you're new. Please give it a thumbs up, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.